Uh, Houston, uh, we have a problem. We lost comms. For whatever reason, uh, now when I turn on the car, per se, when the VCU comes on and the inverter comes on, I get nothing. Um, I'm going to turn on the computer laptop here and I'll collect, connect it to the VCU. And it should show, if it was working normally, normally communications um, through the uh, the serial monitor of the of the <laughs> Arduino software. Let me show you. Wait for it to boot up. Time now. There we go. So. I'm using um, the version 3 software that XP677 uh, put up on the forum a while back. Um, this is very similar to the... So if you guys are using the, uh, the version 2 VCU, you would just... You would download it from uh, GitHub, from Damien's GitHub, the... The, it's called GS450H underscore version 3 user dot INO. That's the one you would be using. And this one's very similar with just a few little tweaks. But anyways, how to check for serial communication is you go over here. There's a little little sight glass or magnifying glass click on that this window pops up and then you make sure you're on uh, 115,200 baud by selecting that down here there's different selections so you make sure you're on that one and then up in the search bar what I call the search bar or whatever bar that's called um, you type in the question mark and this menu pops up this is, this is all on the wiki page for the GS 450 H VCU so you go on the open inverter forum click on the wiki and scroll through there look for Toyota software then find the 450H VCU software. It's in there somewhere. And here is, is a list of menus, this the list of commands that you can do. And what we want is print receive data from inverter. So I'm going to hit D and hit enter. And here, you scroll up there should be random random numbers here not all zeros if you see all zeros there's no communication between the inverter and the vcu and that's the problem i'm having right now it worked before but for some reason it's not working now and this stopped working when i was fiddling with the connectors on the vcu so I'm suspecting there's something wrong in my wiring harness. This is a custom made wiring harness and I had all kinds of problems trying to make this thing work before. So I think there might be some wires touching, doing something there. I don't know. I'm going to take this. The plan is to take the, the uh... oh, before that, I checked all the pins, especially all the communication pins from the VCU to the inverter and I made sure that they were the right pins and I made sure that they weren't touching one another because in here this is connector B these the pins are very very close together and on the VCU they're even closer but it was working until I started messing with these connectors pulling them up taking unplugging them and plugging them back in that's when all this stuff stopped, stopped working so I suspect in here, well, especially here, this one, 
there's some wires touching or because I soldered the joints and I put heat shrink on them. But I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping there's a problem here. <laughs> but let me turn on the car because I know the VCU is off right now. Not the VCU, the uh, inverter. This is my accelerator stick. Okay, let's turn on the car. All right. So, all kinds of warning lights. That's okay. And let's try this again. All right, let's just come out of here, start from scratch. All right, I'm gonna go to the serial, serial monitor right here, click on that. I'll get small d, enter, and still all zeros. So yeah, right now, we should see some random numbers up here, but we don't. Hmm, so, turn everything off. I'm gonna start stripping back this, this wire loom and separate the wires and see what we find. All right, shut this down. Computer's off. Okay. Put this in a safe spot somewhere. <clears throat> all the communicate all the communication wires are in uh, connector B. So I'm just going to mess with this connector here. Most of the joints are right here in this little, um, I don't know, this 16 inches of wire. So uh, let me see here. Okay, so connector B, that's the black connector. What we're looking for is pins 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We gotta make sure that those ones aren't touching one another. That's the only thing I can think of at the moment. These are all the, from the shielding, they're all grounded here. So I used a, I used shielded cable for the communication line. I mean, this is probably not the prettiest thing, but I'm sure it's not the nicest job, but it is what it is. Okay, so pins, let's start with seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, right here. So seven, eight, nine, ten. Are so this is this is ten on this side. So we're looking for the, this green, white. Orange. It looks okay to me. Yeah, 
got to make sure they're not touching one another. Always make sure you cut yourself when you do this. I grounded all these grounds here at the at this connector. Hmm, I wonder if that has something to do with it. Oh, like the shield, the shielding ground. Oh, there is no joints here. There's no solder joints here. I thought I, I thought I put solder joints here. So, here goes that theory. Tugging on the tugging on the pins. What the? F I'll just ground these. Oh, well, let's see here. Good grounds over here. All right, I'm going to plug in the VCU and see if anything changes. All right. So here we are. It's on and working. Waiting for this sucker to boot up now. Okay. I'm going to turn on the car. <clears throat> Okay, serial monitor. Where are we? Where's my mouse? Here it is. D. <sighs> that didn't help. All right. Well, now I'm gonna go down to the v to the inverter and take the connector off the inverter and make sure and make sure that we have powers and grounds. I thought I, I'm sure I did it before, but I didn't check for ground, just check, just check for power, but we're going to do that now. Okay, point to my little cheat sheet here. Um, battery positive should be M4 and L4. You guys can't see that, but uh, M is the last row here, and this is four. And what else did I say? It's an M4 and L4. So these two here, should, oops. Should be positive. 12 volts. I don't think these are big enough. There, let me just. Okay, and there's a negative. Oh, ground. Right here. L3 and M3. Alright. Okay. 
I'm gonna grab my voltmeter. All right. Always test your leads, leads first. Yeah. So I'm touching my leads together. I know they're good. Put this on the voltmeter scale. That's volts. <clears throat> Say so ground L three here. So that was two. So we're gonna check for power and ground. Is it gonna stay? Of course not. All right, I'm gonna turn the key on. That's point. That's point two of a volt, which is which is zero, pretty much. Okay, I'm gonna tell him. Thirteen volts. Yep. So make sure that there should be two grounds on here. Let's see. Thirteen point seven. Yeah, the grounds are good. What about the powers? And yeah, both powers are good. <sighs> I don't know. I think the. Uh... I don't know. Well, powers and grounds are good. Well, guys, I'm. I am stumped. I don't know why we have no communications. It worked before. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I, dealt, I triple checked the connections from the VCU to the inverter. Uh, checked for powers and grounds. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I screwed the VCU up somehow, or I or I screwed the inverter somehow. So I, I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I maybe order another kit, VCU kit. Maybe order the the zombie VCU. But right now the car is gonna be hmm, parked for a while, for a bit. Still waiting for some parts for this. So when maybe when, when parts come for this come in, I'll finish this up. The parts I'm waiting for is a timer, so and a and a power supply. So when I when I plug in the battery charger, it does some switching in here. It switches. This this connects the VCU, but connects the battery leads to the leads off the battery charger, but. Uh, that's the plan, and that still has to get done. But uh, but right now, this is this is pissing me off. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. I thought I thought it was the wiring, but uh, it's not the wiring. <laughs> I don't know. All right, that's it. Until next time. Later.